Here in the heart of Almere lies Project Steiger 113. This is a former printing store and warehouse which is currently being demolished. But nothing gets thrown away. Together with Antea Group, demolition company Maton de Roy and the municipality of Almere, the GBN managed to give 85% of all the demolished building materials a new life. Well, normally there are about 10 different material flows on each project we search further. Ultimately we made up a list with 78 different material flows. For each material we search for a second life in the region. The Kringloopwinkel Almere takes 45 different materials. These are materials like doors and light switches. The roofing material goes to roof to roof. And three material flows will be directly reused in the newly constructed building on this location. This creates a circular demolition in which raw materials are reused and as little as possible is extracted from nature. But what do you do with all the concrete and debris? Together with the University of Delft and 12 international partners, including GBN, they started a European finance program to be able to recycle concrete debris in an environment-friendly way. We are in uh, Roren at the concrete recycling site. At this site we can uh, recycle end of life concrete in a way it can be used in new concrete. Once the end of life concrete arrives in Horen, it will be separated in end of life concrete and mixed rubble. The mixed rubble will be crushed into road-based aggregates and the road-based aggregates will be used to make a new road. The end of life concrete will be crushed and sieved into a 0 to 12 mm fraction and a 12 to 22 mm fraction. The 0 to 12 mm fraction will be transported with an input hopper and a conveyor belt directly into the ADR. The ADR, what stands for Advanced Dry Recovery, is a new innovative technology that will separate the fine fraction from the aggregates and the production of the ADR is 60 tons per hour. Comparison with traditional technologies, the advantage is that you don't need a lot of water or have completely dry the aggregates before sieving and it also will remove the contaminants out of the 4 to 12 mm fraction. The ADR separates the concrete aggregates into fraction of 0 to 1, 1 to 4 and 4 to 12 mm. The 4 to 12 and 12 to 22 mm goes to the concrete plant of the maybe next door. Here it is processed into a high quality replacement of natural aggregates. For the 0 to 1, 1 to 4 mm fraction, we are developing a new technology to make it suitable for the production in new concrete. On top of the conveyor belt, there is a LIPS installed. This laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy monitors online the quality of the material on the belt. The concrete recycling project is bundled in a European research and innovation project called HISER. The project HISER received funding from the European Union under the Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Program. There are nine different countries actively involved in HISER. The main objective of HISER is to develop and demonstrate innovative and cost-effective solutions to increase the recovery rates of materials from the construction and demolition waste. These solutions will be demonstrated in demolition projects and five case studies across Europe. So, with the advanced dry recovery, we are ready for a new, environment-friendly method of concrete recycling.